are signs of the last day and that you have to concentrate your study on the major signs the ten major signs this book is entitled signs of the last day in the modern age and in this book there is a collection of essays dealing with this subject now apart from the major signs let me share with you some of the other signs and then we'll end okay you have to have your lunch I don't know how tasty your lunch is going to be now but I have to tell you he said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam he said in the last age women will dress like men I hope you don't, don't get angry with me women will dress like men so you will see her in a jacket cut masculine style jacket and you will see her wearing trousers and I have seen her with a tie in McDonald's the tie and this is the working woman's clothes hmm? when you see that tears should come in your eyes the 1400 years ago our prophet in the desert of Arabia he said that this will happen why is she dressed like a man answer so that she can assume the functional role of men in society hmm? so now she gets dressed and goes to work and faces the morning traffic and she works all day and then she comes back home in the evening with a briefcase don't be annoyed with me I have a job to do and faces the evening traffic and advances in her career when she's at work she's an officer she has men working under her so she can't talk to them in a feminine voice her voice has to be masculine huh? so her voice becomes masculine if you hear her on the telephone you won't know is it a man or a woman and as her voice becomes masculine and her work is masculine oh my gosh you should see her face the face of a woman is soft and gentle beautiful no man here will differ with me but the most beautiful thing that Allah has ever created is a woman come on tell me <laughs> huh? but now she loses her femininity and as she becomes more and more masculine because she is dressing like a man eventually men are no longer attracted to her and so now the the day will get married to the day and get the marriage certificate and the night will marry the night and get the marriage certificate he said it 1400 years ago now when she goes to work morning to evening plenty traffic in KL who is going to take care of the children and that's the problem eh? because if you don't have any children he can look for another woman yeah if you don't have any children you can look for another woman so who is going to take care of the children answer oh put the children in a daycare center so I went to the daycare center I spoke to the baby only six weeks old eh? and a miracle occurred and the baby spoke to me <laughs> and I asked the baby baby 
do you prefer the daycare center or mommy? And the baby prefer mommy. Oh, I see. So mommy is violating your right as a baby. And mommy is neglecting you. Well, the consequences of an evil deed is an evil result. So when the baby grows up, guess what the baby does with mommy? They put mama in a junkyard of human beings. You know junkyard? When the motor car can't roll anymore, <laughs> you put the motor car in a junkyard. Huh? So this is a nursing home, home for old people. So I went there and I saw her on a rocking chair. I said, Mama, Mama, can you hear me? Mama, what do you want? I said, do you prefer to be here or in the home with your grandchildren? I want to go back to the grandchildren. And this is punishment. You are being punished. He said that women would be dressed and yet be naked. When last have you been to KLCC? Huh? When women are dressed, oh oh, sorry, before that, I missed out one. But they're going to be angry with me now, eh? These fellows on this side. But never mind, we'll be friends after the lecture is over. He said, men will dress like women. 1400 years ago he said that. Why would a man, would a man dress like woman? Why? Because he wants to assume the functional role of woman. You see? So when the two of them get married, the two men, one will be the dominant partner and the other will be the woman. Hmm. If a man wants to dress as a woman, what is the first thing he has to do? I wish I had the time to wait for answers, but I don't have the time. <laughs> Remember, don't be angry with me. I have. A if a man wants to dress as a woman, the first thing he has to do is to shave off his beard. It is not by accident that every civilization in human history had the beard until the sun rose from the West. And modern secular Western civilization shaved off the bed and guess what the rest of men in the world did. Hmm? So if he wants to marry you, tell him put on his bed first. <laughs> Grow your bed first otherwise no marriage. Now that he said that women would be dressed and yet be naked. This is dynamite. Yes, this is going to cause explosions. Why? Because a woman is attractive. You know when Allah's messenger built the masjid, you know he put the men at the front. And you know he put the women at the back. You know that of course. And you know he said that when women go down in sijda, they must remain in sijda longer than the men. You know that? No? Nobody ever told you? Yes! When women go down in sijda, in salat, they must remain in sijda longer than the men. This is a command of the Prophet. Why? He said some of the men may not have enough cloth to cover themselves. And if a woman were to raise her head too quickly, it would be an unwelcome sight. So, he put the men at the front and the women at the back and told the women to remain longer in Sajda. Why did he not put the women in the front and the men at the back? Answer? No man would be able to pray. No, you can't concentrate on prayer. Well, you have women in front of you. 
Because women are beautiful. Women are desirable. And if there's a man who does not have desire for women, something is wrong with him. Give him a one-way ticket to the moon. <laughs> so when women start to take off their clothing, you're heading for trouble. Yes. And he said, women will be dressed and yet be naked. You're playing with fire. And he said the fire is going to come. Why? He said that eventually, I don't think it has come to Malaysia as yet, but it has already come to London and Paris and Japan and some. He said you will find people having sexual relations in public like donkeys. Like donkeys. And this sexual revolution is provoked by a feminist revolution which takes woman and gets her to take off her clothing. Hmm? I could go on for another one hour or more giving you sign after sign of what he spoke about in the last age. But I think I want to now conclude by suggesting to you how can we survive in this modern age with faith intact. When you have studied the subject, then you can argue with me. Yes, but when you have not studied the subject, don't argue with me. Now, having studied the subject, and I am today, by Allah's kindness and grace, one of the people in the world of Islam who is teaching the subject of Islamic eschatology. Having studied the subject, I have come to the conclusion that you cannot escape shirk. You call it shirk. While living in society. And this is the one sin that Allah will not forgive. No. You cannot escape riba while living in the modern world. No. And Allah declares war in the Quran. And the Prophet has cursed all four. And he has said that they are all equally guilty. The one who takes riba. The one who gives riba the one who records the transaction and the two witnesses they're all equally guilty and if you have the curse of the prophet upon you you're entering into the hellfire i have come to the conclusion after studying the subject of riba and incidentally there's a flyer at the back for a conference taking place in kls in um, pwtc on july 26 and 27 that you might want to attend. I am one of the speakers on riba, responding to riba. I have come to the conclusion that you cannot survive with faith intact while living as a part of this system. And therefore I have been suggesting that we retreat to the remote countryside. And we build micro communities which are free from oppression. So you're not going to employ an Indonesian maid. Um, she is the last to sleep at night. She is my daughter. She is your daughter. She is my sister, she is your sister. She is the last to sleep at night. She is the first to wake in the morning. She works all day long, she gets no holidays. She is abused, she is exploited. In Singapore she has to cook pork, lahmul khinzir. She has to do other things we can't talk about. And at the end of...